Good afternoon, or good evening. Dave here. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. Anyway, the, um, I'm back at the ranch here. At um, Today's going to be Thursday. Is it Thursday? Yeah. Thursday the 6th. Yeah, I guess so. Thursday the 6th. 6th of August. Now, if everything would have been going s normal, we wouldn't have had a coronavirus epidemic. I would have... I would be less than... less than 25 days away from my vacation. My trip to the Philippines. Um, relax after I work all year here at the farm um, everybody's entitled to a vacation relax close your eyes and just mellow off and just be going out to foreign country and exotic islands clear blue waters white sand beaches um Unfortunately, we got to wake up now because that's not going to happen this year. At least not this year. Um, fortunately, I had to cancel my flight tickets. They were meant for the month of September to stay from August the, I'm sorry, the, September the 8th to October the 7th. We're going to be out there. Uh, we're gonna have um, we're gonna have some friends go with us. Two friends. We're planning to go with us. They've never been to the Philippines, so it was gonna be an experience for them. Um, it's gonna be a. An interesting year. COVID-19, as far as what I know, had already began to contaminate the people of the world since 19, since the uh, early stages, I, I think, would, would have been since October of 19, of 2019. But it wasn't openly made available until the Chinese New Year, which was uh, September, January, February. What is what is the Chinese New Year? It's somewhere between January and February. Somewhere around that area is when a lot of people got together, and that's when it was discovered that there was some type of disease, some type of virus killing people left and right in China in the area of the, the town of Wuhan during the time that they're during the same time that they were celebrating the Chinese New Year unfortunately a lot of people in China died and a lot a lot of them were unaccounted for uh, something in the radio that says that uh, Chinese telephone networks are normally, normally in China, everybody owns a cell phone. Um, and there were, according to, and, 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 I'm, and I'm just quoting of what I remember, I might be inaccurate on the numbers, but they had said that somewhere about half a million subscribers had canceled in one, in one week by itself for lack of payment which made the media understand that maybe half a million of these people had died of this coronavirus and um, because I mean just I mean just suddenly half a million people didn't pay their bill and and they got disconnected so 
It's a big coincidence that half a million people that didn't pay their bill within the week's period, they had to have been dead. They had to have died. How can you pay your bill when you're a ghost, when you're a spirit? So, I know China, China's inaccuracies as far as the numbers had, had to be inaccurate. But, of course, this is just of what I hear in the news. Um, everything from from the doctor who discovered the virus and tried to made it, make it public, according to the news, the government tried to censor him by placing him under arrest and so forth and so forth. He still was able to tell the world, hey, beware, there's a virus out there, there's a biological virus warfare warfare virus killing people here and it's being spread all over the world it's, it's, you know it's just something where you you would normally just see in the movies you know zombie movies and people raising you know uh, people with some type of disease eating other people's carcasses and you know it's something that you would normally see in the movies it, it's not something that you know you know a science fiction movie uh, lo and behold, it was happening in China. Some virus got loose, and I can't prove, and I can't prove, even though there's hearsay, I'm just going based on hearsay. Hearsay has it that this was a military-made virus uh, intended to strike at the world to create a new world order, new a a have dominion over the whole world. And pretty much, in our case, here in the United States, this was a terroristic attack against the United States because as of, as of now, I think I've heard, what, 112,000, 130,000? I, I haven't been too much up on the news. I've been kind of sick lately, so I, I didn't even want to touch on the news that much. I do want to come back to reality and say, and if in a, in a couple of weeks, if this virus wasn't here, I would have gone on vacation, would have relaxed, would, would have been able to sleep at night and be awake during the day, which is the opposite here in the United States, because in the Philippines, which is the other side of the world, um, right now it's evening, right now it's, it's 7 or 1 in the evening here, and in the Philippines, it's barely 5 in the morning, it's, 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 here it's turning dark, while over there it's turning light, which means that if I work here at the ranch at night, it's daytime in the Philippines. So, it wouldn't have really affected me too much because of the fact that I work nights, Except it would be day over there, so I'd be awake during the day and sleep during the night. Which means that if I if I were to call home from the Philippines during the night, it would be daytime here. Um, but anyways, that's my take for today. Nothing going on here at the ranch. We've had a lot of rain lately, and... Um, it's going to continue to rain. But um, you all be safe out there. Have a good day. And God bless all of you all.